What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14. Last episode, we had the huge fight between, for now, the main big bag villain, who I still don't think is the one pulling the strings. He's just the tool. And teacher number two, main character, all that stuff going on. We're slowly starting to grasp. I had a lot of people, you know, send me things on uh, Discord and in the YouTube comments of some of the older videos and the Patreon members, some of the power systems trying to explain it. Um, I guess it's coming down to so not every Jujutsu user user can just bust out a domain. It's meant for like you know the most skilled. Is that kind of the understanding we have? Uh, but is th besides encasing a domain in your own domain and yours being stronger? I know. Um, Gojo gave a couple examples to get out, but everyone was pretty much saying like it's so pretty much if you're the only way to get out of a domain is to consume it in a domain that's stronger. If that's not an option, are you getting out? Or is it just GG? You just throw up your hands. That's it. There's no way to like withstand it, block it, break out from it. I'm sure you guys will kind of break down and explain that to me. I think the So this will be on Patreon on the twenty sixth. I think this is the last week for Jujut. Jujutsu, um, like for the where the anime is running up on time right now. So I think they finished it like 23, 24. I was hoping to catch it um, while it was going live, but we didn't. But we'll finish it up here and uh, go from there. Drag this here. Press and play right now. That is really loud. And so our, our little big baddie, he's getting, he's learning, he's adapting. This tornado boy trying to grow back. Oh no, he's good to go. Is that a real human, like, that he's smoking out of? Dang, now I want to go to, like, a hot spring. <laughs> I think this guy is the one pulling the strings. Yeah, Sukuna ain't playing nothing, none of that. A new toy. So he had the ability to unlock people's potential. By oneself on oneself. Mothers. Transfigure. And he's not coming back, right? Like, like he's talking about, oh, you could he could heal it with a reverse curse technique. No, 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 then he could have done this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Gather the fingers and offer them to him. Alright. They have six fingers at the high school. Or the... Yeah, he's got an inside plug. Yeah. I 
I'm curious if he has a uh What the fuck happened to my opening? You pieces of shit. I already dislike this. <laughs> oh man. I guess we'll give it a chance. This is like your classic anime opening with like the aggressive like rock song in the back and the team assembling, staring out into the distance, all that type of shit. I don't know who that girl was. I can't believe they did that to my fucking opening. Because this one is not animated as clean. Like, I instantly noticed that off the bat. Not even remotely close. We are here running with full beast now. It's all right, but like if last opening's like here, this one's like kind of down here. It's not bad, but they set the bar really high, and that one did not come close. Song or visuals? Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event Group Battle Zero. What? I was about to say what? <laughs> Name things you love. Ah, uh, they should Yeah, he would. He will be targeted. Yep, 100%. Oh, he, they don't even, do they even know he's alive? Who is his voice actor, Gojo? Most oh, vomit. It sounded very recognizable there for a second. I'm gonna figure it out. I apologize if you guys can hear like crazy weather tornado things in the back, but we had like tornadoes and shit coming through all day. Like literally 12, 15 plus hours, hail, tornadoes, thunder, everything.
Oh shit. Badass squad. What you doing with that broom? Who the fuck is this uh, Kyoto Woods dude back here? Oh, we're getting everybody's name. Met him before. Third year. Okay, so she's probably broken as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that, like, is that person born a robot, or is there somebody inside of it? Like, how does that work? Why is that panda here? <laughs> Can we talk about, um, Sakuna having, like, Hisoka interest in the other dude? Like, he's like, nobody out here is going to be worth anything but that one. Like, what does he have hidden in him? He's going to be in the box. He's got to be in the box, right? <laughs> it's going to be him in the box. <laughs> Making it so dramatic. Eh? Nobody cares. What do they think? <laughs> Bro, you can cut the pose out. That was so anticlimactic. I'm telling you right now, I hope they didn't change the ending. Because then we got a big old problem. So are these going to be like events, like My Hero type events shit? Where like certain abilities might be better in certain events? Or we have a battle royale. Exorcism race. The first team to exercise the second grade curse spirit released in the designated area wins. Several third and lower curse spirits will be released in the designated area as well. Or is not decided by sundown. The team that exercises the most wins. Oh, so can we kill each other? Can you kill or no? I'm guessing no. Is that guy a robot? Yeah, okay. So you can't kill. Are we going to get the start of the event? So they're pretty much going in like a death force, like in Naruto. Um, and just like Demon Slayer. As teams. And they're going to be trying to exercise the most. Kind of like the My Hero when they went through the first race and had to do the robots, but some of the robots counted as more. I was about to say, the panda talked? You and me. Eh? Same thing. What is he talking about? <laughs> Oh, 
It's depending on their difference in strength. That's with feedback. Hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, can you explain the panda? Yeah. She needs the tool. She he doesn't have that on him. Yeah. <laughs> Do we still address how he sees with that blindfold? I'm guessing with cursed energy. In his void. Punch. But does he notice a difference? That's a dope. They really want that man dead, huh? <laughs> They're like, hey, no killing or hurting, but if y'all can, take a mess. Take his ass out. I don't give a damn about the principal. Why don't y'all throw hands about it? Tell that old man. Your bad taste in women. We're still on that. Okay. Eh. What you doing with that broomstick, Hermione? No shot. There's not like a human controlling that somewhere. I just don't believe it. Like, what even is that? Okay, so he's this purist over here. Yep. He could. Oh. 
E. Well, y'all just talk this shit out. Someone that is inside. Yeah, that guy is inside. <laughs> that, that fucking void. They're gonna rough his ass up here a little bit. <sighs> I don't know if y'all can see this lightning like, but it might come through the window. So that kid's not coming back, right? His whole two, three, four episodes dedicated to him was literally just that for the fight. Like, we're not bringing him back. He's not coming back. He wasn't even in the opening, I don't think. But they, but in the other opening, he was, like, hanging out with the kids, making me think we were going to save him. But... Hmm. Hajime! Alright, what's up with this? What's up with this ending? They didn't fucking do it. <sighs> Y'all should have told me to prepare. I'm my uh, hopes up. Again, now we're just going back to the classic. You know, they, it's always wild. I wonder, like, maybe you guys know kind of more information about that than I do. How anime is, like, the opening songs, you know, they're, the, like, these aggressive, like, pop, hard, like, hardcore rock songs why are the endings always these like calm melody high pitch singing type stuff like is there a reason for that i don't know i will we'll watch it though but um looks like we're gonna cool down from the fights a little bit here gojo's i mean you still kind of see the theme in the background though of like something is being plotted here in the background um and it needs to be sniffed out. And if everybody can't agree on that, we're all focused on Itadori and Sakuna's vessel, and they're just going to slip in right up under our nose and take us out type thing. Gojo has, like, he's on it, but it's hard. It's like Gojo's been fighting and experiencing it. These others are just hearing word of it, and it's like it's not believable at the moment. Um, trying to figure out what's going on with Panda Boy, this wooden robot, like, is there a human in there? Is that really just, like, a living cyborg? Like, I, I, I don't know. Um, we kind of got a little information about the cursed speech, which he does seem to be, like, a big issue. Like, they acknowledged him there um, in the end. The other school did, so we'll kind of see how it plays out. So the school has six fingers in its position. He has consumed two. So that makes me think, like, in they said that they let the school collect those six and there's 23 they're like we got to collect the rest but how many do they already have on them which is kind of wild so like do they just want to worship him even if they die you know he'll be the peak of curses you know curses will live on it's like the high you know standing breed or they want to somehow control i don't think they can if even if they wanted to they can't even you know face off at him at a two finger level so We'll see how it plays out. I appreciate it, everybody. Patreon members, you guys will see this. Um, we're going to get two episodes this week, and we had three back-to-back 12-hour work days, so it was hard to get on the reactions this week. But from the moment that this video goes up, you guys will get another. You guys will get two Jujutsu and two One Piece episodes between Friday seeing this and Sunday. And then this week is the last Attack on Titan episode for the part one of season four, which is absolutely going insane. But we'll leave it there. I appreciate it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, as always.